Happy Sunday morning, resellers. This is my inventory room. And Rocky over there being a menace. Here is my inventory boxes. And this is all I have left to list. So, I think we're going to the bins today. What do you think, Rocky? <laughs> he just likes shoes. Okay, and I'm coming to you from my car. <clears throat> I decided to go to Columbus, Ohio today to their Goodwill outlet. I've not been here in probably six months to a year. The trick about this one is there are never any carts. So I had to bring an Ikea bag, which is fine. I just got done with one side of the store, came out to the car, ate some lunch. Yes, I packed a lunch. I was a good girl today, drinking lots of water watching some youtube and now i'm headed in for round two so far i had three quarters of a bag full and i spent about twenty dollars but there's a whole other side of the store in the clothing that i didn't get a chance to go through so i thought well take a break get something to eat and head back in because you guys know i have limited time so when i can get away to go to the goodwill outlet i'm going to stay here and fuel myself up get back in there so let me go see what I can find on round two okay guys I'm back home from the Goodwill outlet in Columbus Ohio and boy was I tired after round two my feet hurt really bad from standing on those floors and they just put so much more clothing in the bins compared to Dayton and Cincinnati where I go but I did want to share with you what I found because I found a bowl of rain today I've never found I'm pretty excited about it let me put this Back down because it keeps shaking the camera. Okay, first up, a sweater. <laughs> I did pick this up. It is a J. Crew fuzzy pink sweater. And if you look on the tag, it'll tell you when it's from. So it's from fall, come on, of 2021. So it makes it really easy to find the stock photos too in those. I'm hoping for like no holes in those but it didn't like shrunk or anything so all right this I put in my bag and then I forgot to look it up I am not a sports fan at all but I have an NFL jersey for the Cleveland Browns no clue who number nine is but I'm sure we could sell it for something next up I found this pretty quickly this is a soft surroundings beaded boho long midi dress petite medium so yeah very boho hippie festival remember those keywords from this week all right i did find some stuff for play-dohs too this is a pair of airy shorts i found a simply southern t-shirt and it has a dog on it. Next up. These are new with tags. The sell through rate was really good on these. This is the brand. Never heard of it, but because it was new with tags, piqued my interest. So it's a men's pair of jeans. And um, let's talk about what is sell through rate. So I told you guys I check comps on eBay because there's only not last 90 days so you know it sold recently and there's more of an audience more data so i feel like that's going to be more accurate sell through rate means i looked up that brand looked up men's jeans new with tags and there's more sold than there was listed so that means it's over a hundred percent sell through rate which is a thumbs up for us okay next up I found a Madewell extra, extra small, just a little crop top for Play-Dohs. I found a Zara basic little black lace cami. I just saw that myself. I don't know, maybe $10, $15. We'll see. If not, I might throw that in for consignment as well. Okay. Here we have... 
offline by Erie. A pair of leggings. I send those to Plato's. This I'd heard of the brand. I think it's sold at Revolve. It's just a little swing dress. Is that what these are called? The brand is Tulula. Do I have that right? That's sold at Revolve. I'll have to look, but again, saw the brand, just put it in my bag. I only spent $37 today and I don't plan on shopping the rest of the week. So I'm proud of myself for getting my cost of goods down. Next up, I almost always pick these up. A pair of men's Nike golf shorts. There is a little bit of pilling right here, but I can take a sweater shaver to that. Oops. I have a Nike t-shirt. I'll give that to my daughter. See if she wants that. This is another item for Play-Dohs. The brand is John Galt, which is a Brandy Melville brand. I found this fitted tank top by Athleta. I'm actually going to try to sell that at Play-Dohs. Well, it's online. It doesn't do too hot. These I debated picking up because they need some work, but because it has the style name on the inside of these Athleta leggings, I knew they were newer and they're size large. So it's the Salutation Stash Pocket Too Tight. But see all this I need to clean up. So. Ugh, in between the legs too. So sweater shaving. But if I can make some money off of it, it's worth my time, right? Next up, super lightweight. So I'm sure I'll make a profit on this. It's just a cappy um, striped summer tank top. Size medium. This is excited to find. I've only found this brand one other time. This is the Zero Gravity Full Length Legging by Sweaty Betty. This is in the bottom of a bin. And they're mine now. <laughs> Exciting. Actually, I put pants down there. Okay, this was a really fun skirt. I just really liked it. This is Zara Woman. And normally, you guys, I don't pick up a lot of Zara, but I thought this multi-print pleated skirt would do really well, like kind of gothic, gothic core. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, this is a button front dress by Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren, which is no longer made. And these little prairie dresses can do quite well. And it buttons all the way down the front. Oh, it has pockets. Obviously, all of this needs steamed. Okay. Then I found this really pretty embroidered dress. Let me get the keyhole buttoned. It's really hard with my watermelon nails. Did you guys see these? <laughs> she does such a good job. I find stuff on Pinterest. This is Zara Truffle Collection. I don't know. Embroidered, pretty boho dress. Anything embroidered. Oh, it has some Swiss dot on the sleeves too, so that should do well. Then I found this Point Sir, which is another J. Crew brand. Little blue and white blouse. Also Swiss dot, pretty cute. I don't know, maybe 15, 20 bucks on that. I picked up this classic fit, 100% cotton Ralph Lauren women's button up. And I'll be honest you guys, button ups suck for me. But I picked this one up because it had a colored pony on here. So I'll use that in keywords too. Ralph Lauren Blue Label 100% Cotton Pink Woman's Button Down Shirt. Polo Pony logo is maybe what I would make the title. <laughs> okay, I did find one kid's item. There wasn't a lot of kids clothes there, but I found a Vineyard Vines Little Girls 
pink dress. This should keep me busy. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best. Okay. Jack Black. Peaches. I found her. I don't know. I think I want to sell this myself. I feel like it would do well. It's just Super Mario brand. Does it have a year? That's an extra large, too. It's a Princess Peach crop top. Like, come on. That's going to sell. Okay. Then another piece at the bottom of a bin, a soft surroundings, multicolored, super lightweight blouse. Again, I need to steam all this stuff. This should get me through the week. Let's see if I can like get out of the Goodwill and not spend any more money. A little piece of me wanted to stop at half off day in our Goodwill today and I was like, no, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Okay, next up. Never tried this brand, I've heard of it. Cupcakes and Cashmere. It's just a pair of really lightweight shorts. I don't know if these are pajama shorts or just summer shorts, so we'll see. This was really, really nice. It's pilly on the inside, but this is an L.L. Bean kind of shacket, and it snaps up the front. It does have style numbers. It's men's, so I should be able to look that up. L.L. Bean. Has done well for me if I find the newer pieces so yeah I just really really like that it's like thick material too okay then I found a pair of democracy AB technology blue camel shorts I've heard good things about that AB technology this I picked up because of the size this is Chico size 3 summer blouse which size three is vanity sizing it doesn't mean 3x it actually means extra large so somebody will like that there's actually a chico's group on facebook i've never tried selling them there but okay this is a good find this is why i was so happy i could take my time today please do not be stained this is a garnet hill i think it looks pretty good you guys 100% linen blazer. I'm going to steam it and pray to God there's no stains. But the lighting in there was kind of crappy, but I don't see anything. Not anything obvious. So hmm, maybe we've got lucky on that one. You guys, and I haven't even shown you the best item yet. I'm so excited. I have a few items left. Stay, stay with me. Stay with me. This item is to die for. Okay, this brand, if you can find it cheap and the newer tags, does really well for me, especially in dresses. And the brand for me is White House Black Market. I've not found anything by that brand in a while, but I did find this really pretty dress. Now, fun fact, do not use their stock photos or you will get taken down off eBay. Very pretty, it kind of wraps in the front. Sorry, I hit the ceiling. I'm so excited. Okay. Then I found a new with tags. Patrons of Peace. Halter neck. Shirt. Which retails. Does it say? Does it say? That's for Play-Dohs. Okay. Then, pink sweaters are in. Okay. <laughs> I found this cowl neck oversized sweater. Size small, and it's free people. Free people's kind of hit or miss for me. Maybe I'm not picking up the right things. But at the Goodwill outlet, who can be that? Again, yeah, it's very oversized. Balloon sleeve. And has some cleaning up to do. What material is this? And then I'm going to show you the awesome item. So excited. What are you? Nylon, acrylic, and wool. Okay. Cool. Good condition. Again, fall and winter items. I'm starting to think about it. All right. Are you guys ready for this polo? Tell me if you've ever found this brand. Maybe I'm like overly excited. 
but it's in a maxi dress. And I don't know why anyone would throw this back. It clasps here in the front and needs to be reinforced a little bit. Okay. Here she is. And you'd think, no, what is this? Okay. So it's long sleeve, maxi length dress. And it's by Farm Rio from the bins, you guys. Like insane. Some of these brand new were on eBay. The comps were like $150 to $200. Used was anywhere from $50 to $125. So I need to find, like, look, it has a parrot on it. And it just wraps in the front. At first, I thought it was high low. It's not. So it's like a super deep V and like this very vibrant print with fish and birds and a cheetah and it's farm rio extra small I don't know, i've never found it i'm so excited to seam this up and list these items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so that's like five days worth if i list five five things and we get to sell to consignment and i still have the shoes so i think i'm done on inventory this week thanks for hanging out and what is today? Sunday? Yeah. So tomorrow, stay tuned for what's sold. I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching.